Every decision that I make in life is basically geared to keep me outdoors and doing what I love. Snowboarding has changed my life. When I was a really young kid, I, I knew that's exactly what I wanted to be doing for the rest of my life. I don't live super lavish life and everything that I make goes right back into snowboarding. Wow. When summertime rolls around, I like to fish, bike, camp, you know, lots of backpacking. And it's great to be able to have these things to do in the summer to kind of keep my mind sharp throughout the year and apply all those same things that I learn in the summer straight into the winter. You know, if I didn't have splitboarding in the winter months, I don't know what I would do. The hike up provides so much great opportunities to get stronger, you know. And it's, it's almost a form of meditation for me. Like I get into this zone and tune out and focus on what's important to me in life. The reward you get when you split board to the top of the mountain is just so unique. The whole idea of standing in high places is to appreciate where you've come from and where you're standing at that time. And it's the same thing throughout life. You gotta see your journey as a whole and, and appreciate where you're at. Well, the down, I mean, it's why we're all splitboard and snowboard. The rush, the adrenaline, the speed, the creativity that you can apply to it. Riding fresh snow on a good wide snowboard is just unbelievable. The feeling like the float and just the weightlessness that you feel on a snowboard is something that I feel is really unique. If I was to have a mantra, it would be probably earn your turns, you know. It's such a a great analogy that crosses over for so many things in life. Sometimes, definitely, I wish that I had a better job, more money, and this and that, but then I would think back and be like, well, all those times that I would have missed out on in my life, you know, that I got to spend with good friends on the mountain. <laughs> those are priceless. 